Hello Gemini, welcome to your love story reading for mid-June. I hope you're doing amazing. We're going to jump right into your reading. Please remember this is general. If it doesn't resonate, I would try your Venus. That does um, collaborate with your love life some. If you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below or you can go to the website above, okay? So let's see what we have for you, Gemini. I feel like some of you are looking to uh, start a new relationship over. Or you're getting closer to the person that you're with. Okay. During this time. I feel like both of you are learning more about each other. So that's good. It, it doesn't feel like it's a problem to be honest. Um... There's two stories I'm getting now. Some of you are getting back with your partner and working it out. Um, they're seeing that the grass wasn't greener on the other side, and they're seeing the right of their wrongs. I'm gonna, you know, they're 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 fixing what they have been doing incorrectly in the relationship with you. Some of you are um, moving on from a person, and you know now what it is that you deserve and what it is that you want in a relationship but secretly i feel like this person cannot move on from you i do feel like they're eventually going to try to come back so it depends on where you stand in that storyline okay so let's get into the past first Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Empress. You're definitely thinking about your future and moving forward. I do, I do feel like you're still connected to the past in some way. You know, but you're also thinking about the future. So, I feel like you haven't quite made a decision yet at this point in the past like you were sitting in between i could stay i could go i don't really know here and i feel like it's because you had a good connection with them as far as being friends or having a good time together but there was a problem with them giving you what you needed like time or effort or energy there was also there was always um this feeling that things could grow or that it had potential. That feeling was always there. But it was more about how long you were willing to wait for that to happen. Because you weren't really feeling motivated. You weren't really getting um, enthusiastic about the future either. Some of you stayed. Some of you left. I can say that. Because the two of wands talks about you, decisions. And that's a decision that you had to make on yourself with yourself. Some of you found that potential within yourself, you know, and followed your own heart. Some of you followed the potential of the relationship, you know. So, I feel like you miss your friendship. So, a lot of you decided to walk away. This is like missing the friendship part of it, okay. Um, I do feel like this person's going to try to communicate with you. I really, really do. Because to them, they still feel like you're in a relationship. You still hold a place in their life um which tells me that it was a problem with them letting you go in the first part point um which is why they were a little bit back and forth it feels to me to be a little bit obsessive in a way with you but you still want balance gemini you're not going to jump into something without having that balance i feel like you decided to prioritize yourself you know that you're loyal um, and you just want that respective energy back. Some of you have tried to date different people. Um, if you do, I feel like you're going to get a lot of messages or a lot of dates. But you still miss that person or they're still in the back of your mind some way. So you may be balancing, you're, you're balancing your emotions and moving on at the same time. From this person. 
I do feel like they're going to message you or flirt with you or say something nice to you because they haven't fully let you go. But it's interesting because it feels like they're not taking any big risks, you know. Um, they're still being foolish. They're still acting the way that they were acting. Um, the grass is not greener. But they're not going to tell you that. They're not. They're not going to tell you that they want to be the only person for you. They're not doing any of that. Their way of opening up is contacting you in a flirty way, but not being very direct. They also see that you are moving on. Slowly, they see that people are paying you attention and they don't like that. They know that they must make a decision. I just don't, I see them making a small one, but it's nothing big. It's just like flirtatious energy. Yeah, you're deciding to move on to opening yourself up to something new. And this person cannot seem to let you go. I see them being very frustrated. Um, they're dissatisfied with how things are turning out. But all they had to do was put in the effort, you know. It was like you were content, but you weren't fully happy. And you had dreams and and desires when it came to love and you wanted more than that so you're out trying to explore but this person is trying to hold on you know um it's like they feel like they've made an investment but they weren't doing the right thing so i feel like they're coming back they're still confused on their emotions and you know how they feel about stable relationships and things like that but but they're they're trying to come back in you have given up the fight you know, there's there's too many, there's too much conflict, there's too much friction for you, and you want to see if you can be happy somewhere else. You know, I feel like this person is going to be a weakness for you, but you're taking a risk based on your own happiness and what you feel like you deserve. You know, so let's see what's in the near future. Three of Wands, Ace of Swords, Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah. I feel like you're going to meet somebody else because you're moving forward and the energy is about moving forward. You're keeping up the momentum of what it is you have going on here. You know, uh, I feel like you're going to meet someone specifically. Um, and you're going to be happy. I, I feel like this person is going to try to make you happy. So I see someone coming in. They're going to express to you how they feel. They're going to be very clear. And, you know, that's what you're looking for. So Gemini, I see you go finding new love here. Okay, so let's get into your oracle cards. Divine feminine in reverse, compatibility in reverse, and the divine masculine in reverse. Yeah, you're no longer nurturing things that do not serve you, right? You're not going to open up your heart to something that's not going to serve you. You're letting that fight go. You know, if something isn't growing in the physical world, you're not going to be like, well, I hope that this happens. You've done enough internal reflection to know how special you are and what you deserve, right? You're not seeing that this situation is compatible as far as what you want for the future because this person doesn't take the right steps forward right they're too busy trying to save face or be a certain way and not express what they need to express to make you feel like you want the same things so that's why i see you moving on okay so thank you so much gemini i love you and i'll talk to you later bye bye